Hey everyone, Genix Fusion here giving you another video uh, for some Dauntless gameplay of course. Uh, I will not go into any long intro so let's just get uh, right in to the game. What am I doing? Uh, well, first of all thank you for joining me and watching my video. I'm going to be doing a Terra 50 escalation and I'm going to be doing it solo with the hopes of being able to make it all the way to the main boss and the main boss is Aguirus, uh, a Terra based well of course you all have been watching this this is just going to be my first time trying to solo this so here we go let's just give it a whirl and let's hope for the best as we begin right now this is the third 50 escalation that I am doing solo. Uh, if you watched my two previous videos, I did the shock escalation solo first and defeated Malkyrion. And then my second one, I did the blaze escalation. And <laughs> by the skin of my teeth, barely made it through. I died like two times and had to use two revives. Uh, but I eventually was able to defeat. A Torgadoro. So this is the next one with the Terra, and I'll be taking on Agaris. Uh, hopefully, I will do better this time around, and uh, not end up making some silly mistakes and end up dying. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. But either way, whether I make it out victorious or if I end up going down <laughs> in flames. Uh, you're all going to see it for what it is. So here we go. <laughs> As always, I'm kind of nervous uh, because I'm not too used to doing these things uh, solo. But somebody's got to do it. I have to. Sh I have to kind of prove to myself that I can do these things solo. Okay, everything is about matchups here. I'm taking on this Charog first. It's a spore struck, and he can be quite a difficult thing to take on. So I just need to take my time and be patient with it, and not try to think that I can take him down with all these good massive shots. Just have to stay patient and work carefully. <laughs> I'm not going to fight him his way. I'm going to have to fight him my way. That means avoid him, hit and run, stay healthy, and do whatever damage I can. Go in close. Fire. There you go. Ooh, got him there. Ooh, got him again. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, let's see if we can use my magna bombs real quick. Let's just keep at it. I hate these minions. They're making it a problem. Ah, that's okay, because he's down. That's round one. That wasn't too bad. The key is that I've got to make sure that I stay patient. That I don't think that I can do more than what I can really handle take on more than I can handle, but stay patient, not try to overpower my weapons, and then end up getting hit. So, let's see, I got a Spore Struck Ember Main. Oh gosh, I hate that. That's going to be difficult, because the Ember Main's always moving. And then a Frostback Pangar. Alright. The best thing to do is usually to take on the Pangar. I just hope that the Ember Main, I can keep the Ember, keep him between me and the Ember Main. I think I'm going to go with the, the Edelin. Thrill of the Hunt, I usually would like to get this for each behemoth defeated, but I think I'm going to, you know what, I'm not going to go with the Edelin. I'm going to go ahead and go with Thrill of the Hunt, because I want to continue to build up my damage with each behemoth that I defeat from now on. So, I'll get an Edelin at a later time, at a later round. Right now, I'm just going to have to trust in my own solo capabilities and hopefully we'll get out of this alive. Okay, 
Here we go, Pangar. You're first. Man, see, look at that. That Amber Maid's already messing around with me. Stay out of the way. Something tells me I should have taken on the Amber Maid first. But committed right now, so let's just... Let's just stay committed to the, to the plan. Ooh, nice try, dude. You almost got me. Almost got me. Let's do this, huh? Excuse me, sir. Ugh. ended up getting myself into a jam here. What happened? Did I get... <laughs> How did I end up behind this thing? <laughs> oh, this is interesting. Now I'm back here. Okay. That was weird. That was a little too weird. But if I can keep him close to me, I'll take it. He's almost down. He tried to heal himself. You cheater. No cheating allowed. <laughs> Actually, I think one of my watchers or subscribers said, no healing allowed. <laughs> That's cheating. Maybe so. Okay, Hangar's down. Let's deal with Ember May now. We can just keep him reeling. We'll keep damaging him. We'll see what happens. Okay, what's he doing? him and keep hitting him and be patient with it. Okay, what's he doing? Okay, I better move. There we go. Twin Sons dance! No, I'm not gonna mount you. I'm not in the mood, buddy. I'm just gonna keep hitting you from a distance and stick to my plan. There we go. The globe. Almost down. Got him. Perfect. Okay, that was close. But we did it. Alright. What's next? Scrave. Winterhorn Scrave. Oh, that's gonna be a little scary. Oh no, I gotta deal with Gruck Grucks. <laughs> Lucky I got my Pangar Lantern. <laughs> I hate dealing with Gruck Grucks. Alright, we're gonna get the Edelin for this. I call them the Navi Gang. I think I'll take one of the Navis and use them as an assistant to help out. Okay, Scrave. Here we go. Got me there. Okay. He got me there. It's time my dodge there for my twin sons dance. Yep, he's angry. It's all right. Be angry. Ooh, almost, buddy. Oh, I think I used the mag bombs too soon. Yep, I did. I used them too soon. I'm gonna get. He's gonna hit me. There we go. Got him! Got him! Stunned him at the same time! Come on, Buster. Let's do this. Oop. Oop. Nice try, buddy. Got him. And, at the same time, I didn't have to worry about the Gruck Grucks. I think it was because of my, my Pangar Lantern. Kind of kept those things at bay. So got through round three. 
Not unscathed, but I still got through. Alright. I could use either one of the Edelins, or I can go with the Shock Elemental form. I'm going to go with the Shock Elemental form. Round 4, it's Nasher and Rizakiri. Thankfully, the Nasher isn't the seismic one, so I don't have to worry about its seismic attack. You know what? I know one of my subscribers said healing is illegal, but you know what? I'm going to use one of these Aether Vents. I say whatever I need to do to survive. <laughs> and save some potions for that matter. Okay. Here we go. I think the first thing I'm going to do is take out the Rizakiri. Not the Rizakiri. I'm going to take out, take out the Nasher. And then I'll take on Rizakiri from there. I'll just need to keep Nasher between me. Okay, everyone, welcome back. Uh, for some reason, my recorder went a little wacko on me. So now I had to pause the game and get to a safe spot so that I could restart the recording. But here we go. Welcome back. Let's see if I can handle this. You know what? Heal. Yeah. Need to heal. Work on this Nasher and not worry about Rizakiri at the moment. Okay, so keep Rizakiri between, keep Nasher between me and Rizakiri. That's for sure, because this is about to get ugly. Oh, he's running. He's kind of running to heal. You know what? We'll just keep going this way and we'll use the magnum bombs on him. Ah, this Rizakiri is being a pain. Okay, back up. Ah. It's okay. We just have to keep at it. Stay the course. Stay the course. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. All of them light effects mess me up. There we go, we got him. Alright, now it's Rizakiri's turn. Let's stand up and see where he's at and just get a position. Here we go. Ah, man, the reload was... I wasn't counting on the reload occurring at that point. It's okay. Just keep, keep at it. Here we go, wait for it, wait for it. What's he doing? Okay. Ah, his stupid force field! I can't break these very well. Part of me wishes I had a... Yeah. One that the deconstruction perk would have been helpful here. But it's okay. Right now, we're just gonna use our magna bombs on it. Let's see if we can keep these minions off of me, too. Okay, here we go. Use my healing. Use my Pangar Lantern. Just use everything in combination and just keep firing like mad. Come on, buddy. What's he doing? Oh, Skittles. Here we go. Made it. Oh, he's gonna use his other thing now. Let's wait. Wait for it. Oh, Skittles again. Firing like mad. Mag bombs. Oof. Okay. I got him, but he twisted on me. That's okay. Let's get under him. There we go. Got him. He's down. <laughs> Woo. That was intense. That was an intense one. Okay. This is it. We gotta take on Aguirus. 
But before we take a Garrus on, let's see, we're going to use Executioner. But before we take a Garrus on, I'm going to double check my video play just so that I don't have any okay, complications. Okay, welcome back everyone. Be right back in a second. There we go. It's time to take on a Garrus. Yeah, something tells me I should heal. <laughs> I'm not quite healed up. I'm not at full strength, so let's use a potion. I should have used a nether vent. Oh well. Let's see what we're up against here. Okay, here we go. Let's introduce ourselves. I got the healing going on now. Save your pylon for when he starts launching his poison stuff. Don't do it too fast. I'm not interested in parts. I'm only interested in killing. As my friend Lady No Lucky would say, murder mode. That's all I'm interested in. guy. you anyways. You're down. <laughs> All right. That was awesome. I can't believe that I got him so quickly. That was awesome. All this is except for round four, which I expected. I had technical difficulties there and it kind of distracted me. But I ended up getting it an S ranking against a Garrus. Not bad. Not bad at all. So I guess I'll head back to Ramsgate. So that's it. I finished that solo escalation against a, against a Garrus. Not bad. Not bad. It, it didn't take that long. It took just maybe under three minutes to take him down. Well, I don't know if that was because of any special skill or if it was because of the loadout that I have. Lately, I've had to, just like I said before in like my two previous videos, I had to rethink just my, just rethink my whole function as a, as a gunner using the repeaters. And uh, one of the things that I had to uh, just rethink was being able to th rethink the loadout, my loadout, so that I could do more damage, and what were some of the things that I'm gonna, I was going to need to sacrifice uh, in order to do more damage and be more productive as a gunner. Uh, so one of the things that I decided to do was I decided to sacrifice uh, my parasitic perk. Now, any of you who know, who remembers what my par what the parasitic perk is, it's basically when you take damage. Uh, the damage is spread out, spread out over a period of time of about 10 seconds, uh, but you get like a 8% life steal to regenerate your health. So every shot you take, uh, every time you attack and you do damage to a behemoth, 8% of the points that you dam use for damage, that you damage the behemoth with, you get 8% of that health back. Uh, so it was very helpful, but I think what it was is that it was hindering me uh, from being able to use other perks that could dish out just dish out more damage and give my guns more of a wallop uh, the ability to just more punch and so I sacrificed the parasitic perk and decided that I needed to alter uh, boost my uh, damage abilities 
and then um, and I just had to rethink my whole fighting style because without that parasitic perk I was going to be susceptible to getting damaged more often so I sat back and just did some revisions and did some rethinking on how I was going to be doing my attacks and how I was going to take care and monitor my health so that's it and as a result this video and this uh, Terra Escalation uh, is one of the payoffs so thank you all for watching this video with me uh, and for joining me the next video that I'm going to do the next escalation is going to be tougher um, because I am going to be doing the Umbral 50 escalation and that is definitely harder to solo and I'm I won't be surprised if I don't do well in that if I end up going down uh, but I'm very happy that I was able to do these three escalations and be able to solo them and it's really helped me out a lot in terms of understanding uh, just my abilities with uh, being a gunner and everything and the things that I can now do to help contribute to a hunt so that's it so I will see you all in my next video uh, when I do the Umbral 50 escalation and we take on Thrax so once I make that video I'll post it up here onto the channel thank you all for joining me you all have a good one take care hi viewers remember to subscribe like the video comment and click on the little bell to receive notifications of future content have a good one